Look, Sharon Hornelson here. Welcome to day 1,281 of What You Have to Know, documenting the journey of the transition from the brick and mortar world to the corporate world, sharing what works, the good, the bad, the ugly, so that I can help anybody. If I only help one person to not make some of the mistakes I made as I went from the offline world to the online world, then I feel it's worth documenting this journey. I hope that that one person is you. That I can save you some time, energy, effort, frustration, uh, going down the wrong road or the wrong path, any, any way I can help. So today I want to talk a little bit about noticing how things work, noticing what works, how things work, why they work, and then choosing whether you're going to participate in those things or not. I do a lot of challenges, and so I'm thinking about challenges today, and I know how the gurus, or I hate that term, but how certain people use them for marketing and how they work. I also know how business people and super successful people have used challenges for decades and how they work. I'm more concerned personally with getting the result for people than using them as a marketing tool or a marketing ploy. Uh, been around as a marketing tool since, I, I think one of the first really good examples I remember is Robert Allen, who's a real estate uh, investor and he wanted to get people to buy his books. And so he had a challenge where he would have you drop him off, he'd be dropped off in any city in America, I think, uh, with $100 in his wallet, and he had like 72 hours or, or a couple of days, maybe 48 hours, to buy um, at least a, I think, $100,000 property with no money, only $100 in his wallet, yada, yada, yada. He, and he did that a bunch of times, and of course, got publicity, was written up in the media, and people started to pay attention. And then he started a coaching course, which I was a part of a long, long time ago, and, and did challenges that way. And maybe that's part of why I've always loved challenges, but I've been doing challenges since I was a little kid. Uh, I was always challenging myself to do things. So right now, I'm thinking of this because we're doing, we just started, today was day two, just finished the day two video for the Get Up and Go Challenge. It's a free 30-day challenge where we learn a process called the SOAP Framework, and we take that process for handling change and challenges, and we install it in our subconscious so that we automatically are guaranteed to get better results after any change or challenge because we've got a great process that we're running in our subconscious. We don't have to think about, oh, it's raining outside, that's a change, I thought it was gonna be sunny, and then react however we would react in the past or normally, but automatically we respond and react, and we go through the SOAP framework, and on a subconscious level, immediately just go into taking action in terms of what is best for us in this given scenario, this given situation. So that's today, we're doing it all the month of August. In addition to that, I decided that for idioms for Supersize Your Business page, I would go along with that same theme of changes or challenges or, uh, you know, failures, setbacks, obstacles, uh, adversities, roadblocks, problems, whatever you call them. That's the theme for at least the month of August, maybe beyond because it's, of course, one of my favorite topics. And I brainstormed a list. I think I got over 80 idioms that have to do with challenges or changes and so it isn't a, a tough area to work on or to plus it helps us to grow and build and supersize our business it's one thing i can guarantee no matter what you're doing no matter where you are in your business no matter how long you've been in business or you're just getting started you're going to have changes and challenges and setbacks and obstacles and roadblocks and adversities and stuff that comes up that you need to deal with stuff you can't even imagine i would say the vast majority of people on this planet really had never thought out or even imagined a global pandemic. I know I never did. We did a lot of what ifs and emergency plans and things for the businesses and industries I've been involved in, but never once did we have a, I don't think we had a pandemic on there ever or uh, an outbreak or pandemic of illness. It just didn't hit our radar. I guarantee it's on everybody's radar and everybody's emergency action plans now and insurance policies, it just wasn't before. And that's what happens as things change. Sometimes we don't even have to consider things and then all of a sudden we better consider them or we're gonna be in big trouble. So our idiom today was to take it one day at a time. Actually covered this one before, it comes from AA, Alcoholics Anonymous, yes. And the philosophy of you gotta get through this 24 hours. Do what you gotta do this 24 hours to have the goal of not drinking any alcohol. Well, we can take some of that and incorporate it into our life to create whatever it is that we want. So I talked about um, seven ways of doing that, seven steps of doing that, how to do that to grow and build and supersize your business. Uh, if you're interested in that, you can check it out on the Supersize Your Business Facebook page 
or Supersize Your Business Instagram. Supersize Your Business is on several platforms and you can find it there. Or Pajama Grandma Podcast. You can look it up in my podcast or YouTube. I think I'm on Pajama Grandma on YouTube as well. Uh, spelt wrong, of course. Pajama is spelled right, but Grandma is spelled G-R-A-M-M-A. Probably because when I went to find the names on social media, Grandma spelled right or Grandmother and Pajama Grandmother doesn't sound as good as Pajama Grandma is why I did that. So that's where you could find that information. Our challenge today from our All About You 365 Day Challenge, our annual challenge this year, is to do one thing every day that centers us. It's the beginning of a two-part saying today about knowledge and wisdom. And what do we teach somebody today? Because if we have knowledge, we want to share it. Otherwise, what are we keeping it for? So many people have this scarcity mentality and this philosophy where if I know something, I'm not going to tell anybody. If I know something you don't know, I have one over on you and I'm not going to tell you because I'm more powerful or better or whatever. Whatever. I don't understand the thinking, but some people like to hoard their knowledge, hoard, hoard what they've learned. And you can do that, but I think it makes for a very lonely life. I say share it all. Share all the things that you've learned. Share all the knowledge and wisdom that you've acquired. Let people ask questions and answer them to the best of your ability. Why? Why not? Right? So... And that was our idiom today was teach somebody something. Teach somebody something that you know. So I'll see if I can't teach the kids something today. Or, of course, I do coaching. and I'm sure I can share information and, and teach people a lot of things with respect to that and consulting. I don't have any consulting appointments today. Yay! Um, so I am working on the Get Up and Go Challenge because it's fun for me. I love sharing, and it's my way to give back and teach, right? I'm teaching all about what are the best ways to handle changes and challenges that are inevitably going to come into your life? You know, we want to make it as simple as breathing or sneezing or things that we just automatically do without even having to conscious or blinking. How about blinking? As simple as blinking. That's probably a good one for me with eyes. Blinking. Yes, as simple as blinking. Uh, so what else is going on? Again, I am asking the question about a summit. Anybody interested in having me put on another woman's summit? Did one a couple years ago. Really well received. Uh, we did it on customers and how people find customers because that was the biggest question from the group when we surveyed and asked, what do you want to know about? What is the biggest challenge you've got? What would help you the most? And it was all of about how do you get, how do you deal with customers? It was mostly about leads and prospecting and finding customers, but we could do something else. I'd like to do another one. That one's, geez, I think I can still give people access to that if they're interested. Just ask in the, in the comments below. I believe it is still posted I'll have to look I'll have to look and see where it is I think I had it on click funnels so we'll see where that summit resides it's still in existence it hasn't gone away as far as I know uh, I like to keep my content up all the time it's like all of the previous challenges for the get up and go challenge are available in the get up and go challenge group now you could go to the page to get up and go challenge page and scroll through for the last couple of years worth of to get the content but it wouldn't be in any order it just would be the random uh, Facebook algorithm order and if that's changed which I'm sure it's changed in the last year and a half then that might even be different than the way they used to appear but if you go to the get up and go Facebook private group you can ask to join that group you got to answer the three questions we don't want to be spammy but you can go into the guide section the old former unit section and there's at least 10 units in there which reminds me I need to put this challenge in as a new unit uh, of the previous challenges you could go in and or you could search the page the the group page and any topic you want you can find the videos that are on that specific topic or idea so if you've got a problem or a challenge with challenges go in there ask it's a it's really a treasure trove of information on challenges how to handle them what to do about them uh, you could do that anybody could do that anytime because I don't take it away you have to join the group but I don't take the content away it's always in it and I don't plan on doing that ever with this particular challenge I'll put it in there and it's gonna stay forever why because it shows and it's a reminder of how watch how somebody does something I want people to watch how I did that originally and how it's evolved over time and morphed into something that meets people's needs better than when I first started out when I first started out it was just to meet my needs to, to get moving and get up and going and if I was gonna do it I I, whenever I'm going to do something, I'm like, you might as well come along with me and we'll learn together because it's more fun. So, 
that is it in a nutshell. Any questions, hit me up. You can actually direct message me if you're seeing this on Facebook Live. Uh, I think I did hit the uh, contact me directly button. That's a new feature they've got that I'm testing out to see if people use that or not. If people don't use it, I'll, I'll stop offering it, but as long as it's available, I will offer up. If you got a question, got a concern, got something that's bugging you, and you're tried to figure it out, I, I always say, at least have tried to figure it out. I mean, and the reason you're asking anyone, and me in particular, is because you, you haven't got the answer, or you don't have anybody that you're comfortable asking. I know it's so important to have somebody that you can just bounce ideas off of every once in a while, or thoughts or concerns, uh, and not just be a good listener, not expect necessarily me to solve your problem for you, but help you to know what the next thing to do is. Always know what the next thing is. Because we don't have to know a hundred things that we have to do. We just need to know the next one. I'm working with my son on this one. You don't have to do a billion things at once. Pick the next thing. And I, I teach him my framework and I coach him through it just like I do my consulting and coaching students. This is this is what you do and, and it, it becomes a it's become a you know thirty year conversation with him. But we do what works for us and, and we teach people what works for us and we set the example and we hope you watch how and what we do because we, how and what we do is intentional for us and we do it for a reason. I don't hop on and do videos every day for no reason. I have my own personal reasons for doing that. Nobody's ever really asked me why I do. I'd be curious if uh, anybody was curious about why I do that. All right, that's it. I have work to do. Go out. Have an absolutely awesome day. If I can help you in any way, ask in the comments below. Or I will be with you tomorrow. Bye.